Hello, welcome back to the Pokemon Volt White Nuzlocke. I am Mike, and this is episode number two. Uh, last episode, nothing interesting here. We got our starter. Um, <laughs> we can talk about the team real fast. So, uh, I've got Tristan here, our Snivy, the starter that he picked. Uh, level 10, it's timid, with uh, Tackle, Leer, Vine Whip, and Wrap. <clears throat> oh, also, shout out. This episode is going up on April uh, 5th, I think. But it's being recorded <clears throat> um, March 24th for me, March 25th for him. <clears throat> so I just want to give a big shout out. Happy birthday, my dude. You are the OG, the original. I am proud to call you one of my absolute closest and best friends. Stay strong, motherfucker. Stay strong. Alright, that's enough. Um, and then we've got Christy, our level 9 Hoot Hoot, who's rash nature. Uh, with Nightshade Peck. Change that around a little bit. With uh, Peck Hypnosis, Nightshade, and Foresight. I see something. Ghost type speed by normal and fighting. Whew. Right, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, so we've got no money. We are poor. But, uh... <clears throat> we're gonna go out here anyway. Because we have some stuff to do. Oh, sounds like something's going on in the plaza. Well, let's have a little look-see. <laughs> oh, I can leave. Cool, haha. <laughs> Ugh, my chubber suck. Alright, now every good evil boss needs a strong Russian theme. <laughs> my name is Gutsis. I'm here representing Team Plasma. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to talk to you about Pokemon Liberation. Huh? What? I'm sure most of you believe that we humans and Pokemon are partners that have come to live together because we want and need each other. However, is that really the truth? Have you ever considered that perhaps we humans only assume that this is the truth? Pokemon are subject to the selfish commands of trainers. They get pushed around when they are our partners at work. Can anyone say with confidence that there is no truth in what I'm saying? No way. You. I don't know. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Pokemon are different from humans. They are living beings that contain unknown potential. They are living beings with whom we humans have much to learn. Tell me, what is our responsibility toward these wonderful beings called Pokemon? What could it be? Liberation? That's right, we must liberate the Pokemon. Then, and only then, will humans and Pokemon truly be equals. Everyone, I end my words here today by imploring you to consider the relationship between the people and the Pokemon, and the correct way to proceed. We sincerely appreciate your attention. Damn. Move out. <laughs> here, about that speech, what do you think we should do? Liberate Pokemon, but that's not even possible. Your Pokemon. Just now it was saying. Oh, slow down, you talk so fast. What's this about Pokemon talking? It's an odd thing to say. Yes, they're talking. Oh? Then you two can't hear it either. How sad. My name is N. Oh, my name is Sharon, and this is Michael. We're asked to complete the Pokedex, and we just left on our journey. Our main goal is to become the champion, though. The Pokédex, eh? So, you're going to confine many, many Pokémon in Pokéballs for that, then? I'm a trainer, too, but I can't help wondering. Are Pokémon really happy that way? Well, 
Michael, is it? Let me hear your Pokemon's voice again. Dude. Not only will I can find many, many Pokemon to Pokeballs, I will lose many, many Pokemon. <laughs> I'm not happy about it either. Oh, level 6. Okay. Well, I think in, like, the original, like, the non Drianos, he has, like, level 7 or 8 already, so that's why I was like, alright, I'll just uh, do this, I guess. Let me hear the voice of your Pokemon. Hey. Thank you. As long as Pokemon are confined in Pokeballs, Pokemon will never become perfect beings. I have to change the world for Pokemon, because they're my friends. Oh, strange guy. But I'm not gonna worry about it. Traders and Pokemon help each other out. Listen, I'm going out ahead. I want to battle the gym leader in the next town, Triad City. I aim to battle gym leader after gym leader. The best way for a trainer to become stronger is to challenge the gym leaders in each area. Alright, cool, fam. I'm a heal. What the hell? I didn't... Had a random ass wind rip thing try and download. Whatever. Uh can really use the running shoes. I mean I know we get them soon, but still. My favorite tune, no. Don't care. Your tunes do not amuse me. Chick. Chicky. Oh my god. What? <laughs> Dude. Dude. What? No. Stop. I don't care. Ah, oh my god. I'm getting... No, oh, who cares? Stupid ass. Oh, I don't. God, so much shit running on my computer. I'm surprised it hasn't blown up yet, to be honest. Ugh. There's nothing in this town. Why am I wasting my time? <laughs> Captain Noon, Coolio. Mm -hmm. Two. Question Seaver is ringing. Michael, it's your mom. How are things? Are you and your Pokemon getting along and enjoying your journey so far? I needed to talk to you, so I called. But I'm gonna hang up the Cross Gen Seaver now. Waste of mom. Michael? <laughs> Finally, what do you mean? It was two routes! Get out of here! Finally caught up with you. And look how far you've come already. Mr. Juniper said that you were probably headed for Striat and City by now. I have another present for you, Michael. Try these on. Cool. When you're wearing the running shoes, you can go anywhere in a flash. No, I don't. Shut the hell up. Go away. Go away. What up? Don't fight me. Look at me. Look how fast I run.
All right, what's our encounter? Hey, it's a Weedle. <laughs> With Poison Tail. That's hella interesting. Go to sleep. It should not kill you. Perfect. Let's get in the damn ball there. One, two, three. Nice. Harry Bug. Um. Uh, I don't know. Party nature with poison touch. Yo, poison sting? String shot, bite, and poison tail. That's crazy. Nice. Go back and heal ski. Get in there. I mean, shit. Might as well try and get him to evolve. Train to desire, start a battle. <coughs> Jet, okay. <laughs> well, I'll stay. I want to see what damage I can do. Nice. Sustain. Poison touch. Ouch. Go you. Christy level 10. Level. You're just regular bug there, right? Yep. I'm gonna eat you. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> should be enough for level 9. It is. Very nice. Our first evolution. No. If you told me that Pokemon Evolve, I would have called you a liar. Hey. Oh, and got battle armor. Man, is clearly ready for anything. Keep him in front right now, just try and get him to what you don't know, need to fight. Walk on the road. I don't care. Sigurds are good. Got 
battle armor, fam. When I get the EV light, nothing will stop me. <laughs> it doesn't matter, this is a high crit ratio and a chance to poison. Plus poison, touch it. Damn it. Come on. Crit right now. Nope. Alright, crit right now or the poison. Damn, none of it. Pidgey. Can't stay in on that. We'll lose our bug type. Because, you know, we're super weak to flying already right now. <sighs> Razor wind. Get out of here. Meowth. Let's get Tristan some lovey lovey. Lovey 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 lovey. Oh, very nice. Good job, Tristan. I'm so proud of you for once. Caterpie. Very well. Just pop one of these. Oh yeah, I'll do it back. Ha, I'm the better bug. <laughs> but for snore, excuse me. Why does it have snore? <laughs> it makes no sense. Route 2. A purloin. Easy experience. It's not even prankster. Hey, trap. Ow. Come on. Ouch. Oh, oh shit. shit. Alright, kill, kill it. it. <laughs> Didn't kill. It's fine, it's fine. Hey, beautiful. And just, just like, like that, that folks. Pokemon evolve even more. Look at that. Look, Look at that. Episode 2, and we got ourselves a final evolution. A whole ass beetle. Uh. No. Give up. I'm sorry. <laughs> what? 70. Ah. Uh. No, we're we're bay. Oh, we got, got the nice poison, poison touch. touch. Yo, this, this thing, thing is about to be a whole ass threat. The three moves upon level, it's crazy. An oval stone. Whoa. And an ever stone. <laughs> Whoa.
just in case. Because if I remember correctly. Mm -hmm. Oh, hi, Michael! <laughs> hey, listen, let's have a Pokemon battle, please. The Pokemon I caught have become a little stronger. Ready or not, here I come. It's me up. I'm going to Christy. Yeah, fake out. Ouch. Oh my god, this is like technician. You gotta be shitting me, dude. Wow, their first death. Awesome sauce. I love it. And by that, I mean I don't love it. It's episode two, and a stupid ass crit already claims them on. I'm going to be, like, so screwed for the first gym. <sighs> I don't care. Don't talk to me, you bitch. <laughs> You bitch. Cool, thanks for the dive balls. Alright. Well. Just like that. <sighs> Goodbye. And then there were two. <laughs> mm. This is going to be rough. Again, nothing but Pokeballs and potions. I think there's stuff in these houses here. Rear model. Yeah. Cool, thank you for that, my friend. Traveling trainer. Okay. Yeah. Can I do? This is technically I don't have I don't have a rod, I can't get anything here. 
Dude, am I really about to like shit the bed on encounters? I remember that first time, like Gen 5, but I didn't realize I could, uh. Use TMs over and over again. I was like, oh, that's so cool that they did that. What am I supposed to do? Go in here. What up, fam? Okay. Okay. Sure. Poison is an antidote. Awakening. Hey, thank you. Gym leader and a trainer school. Yeah, I guess I'll go here. <sighs> it's kind of rough right now, man. You know, running into fire type mons, I'm kind of screwed. And oh, spoilers! The first gym leader uses a type that is super effective against you, so I'll be fighting fire types. <sighs> oh, great! And flying types right now too. Can't forget about those. Oh my god, dude! Thank you for the... I don't know if it was Poison Touch or... The Poison from the move is held. I don't remember. But dude, Beedrill is going to be like so... So clutch. Oh. No, I'm not dealing with this now. Alright, if I knew you were going to do that, I would have stayed in. You imagine if they come out with a Pokemon game that like lets that happen. Like, love knows no gender. And I mean, I'm fine with that. If you're straight, okay. If you're gay, okay. That's fine. Everybody deserves to be happy. Oh, fuck me, dude. So annoying. Oh, come the hell on! I don't remember if Dreano added fairy types in this. He did not. Whatever. Let's kill it. That is the top percentage. No, really. Why do you say that? Eleven. I don't know what else to do. It hurts. I missed. He missed. Sorry, he missed. Oh. Oh my God. You thirteen grow 
health. Sure. Yeah. What's this? Next event. Hey, hey you. What was the first Pokemon you received? Snivy, then Pampor. Really big help. Yeah, I would love that Pampor. Awesome. Thank you so much. And it's a male. So, of course, we're going with the one and only Master of Water Types. Jerry. Let's check it out. Modest? I'll take it. Okay. I'm going to end the episode because I have to go... I'm going to go get my other two mods, so I guess level 13 real fast. So they're up the same with uh, Snivy. So thank you guys for watching. We had uh, evolutions today, and we also had a death. So if you're one of those assholes like Tristan, who prays for my downfall, there you go. I think I wished you a happy birthday. You son of a bitch. Goodbye. <laughs>